guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tanika Dion hey you guys what is up what is going on my people hey I'm just so excited to see you guys oh my gosh <sighs> yep I don't even know where to start I said I actually wasn't even going to start making videos again yet. I was going to wait till actually March to just come back. I don't know. I, I don't even know why I said March. I could have did it whenever. But anyway, and I don't want to make this video long. I know I say that a lot. Well, I used to say that a lot. But I really don't want to make this video long today. Um, because I do want to do an unboxing at the uh, end of it. Um, so I'm kind of doing like a two-in-one. I'm going to just explain a little bit about where I've been for the past five months and do a little unboxing that I got in the mail today, which is the reason why I decided to go ahead and just do a video. I have not did a video since the end of August um, of 2019 and my last video I think went up like the first week of September or yeah maybe first or second week of September but I have not been on YouTube since September so that's four or five months. Um, so I went for my um, uh, yearly exam and uh, the doctor was telling me because you know uh, that year when I went I was still 46 and you know at the end of the year in December I turned 47 um, uh, so she was telling me that I am over well, I mean she was telling me that before that I was over I even know that I'm overweight I mean you know what I'm saying I, I already know that because um, I wear 2x sometimes 3x I know that I'm overweight but guys honestly I never ever ever thought that you know my weight would become an issue my husband's know, I, happy he has no issues with me and I as far as I know I didn't have any health issues so I didn't care you know what I'm saying I never wanted to, or chose to lose weight or anything like I just didn't I just thought I was fine I had a, a, a kid I was able to keep up with him I did everything he wanted to do it's not like I was um you know uh missing out because I couldn't take him to the park or to the mall or Chuck E. Cheese or wherever he wanted to go I could do didn't have any issues I just thought I was okay I knew I was overweight like I said but I just thought I was okay I just it never dawned on me that I should lose weight you know what I'm saying the the main thing that um got me to wanting to uh you know start looking into my health like I should was the fact that she told me that by the time my next yearly physical comes that I may have uh, full-blown diabetes because of my uh, overweightness I don't know if that's a word but whatever because of the fact that I was that much overweight I'm not gonna get into the numbers because that's you know embarrassing now that I know what they are because I like I said I never paid attention but whatever you know and like I said and also I always look good to me and my husband and that's all that mattered to me but um and I was always like comfortable in the stuff that I bought for me like you know, I bought stuff that I knew that I would be comfortable and look sexy in and have fun in and that, you know, would please him and myself. So I was I was just happy in that I, I didn't think I would ever have a problem. But anyway, so yeah, she said she believed that by the time I had my next physical in 2020, you know, coming, well, at the end of this year, that I would have full-blown diabetes because of the numbers and stuff. <sighs> so that got me to thinking right away okay it's time so she gave me all this stuff you know to do and to how to lose weight and she wanted to start me on diet pills and stuff like that but I wouldn't do it because I do not like pills you got I hate taking pills oh and then also um because of that also I had developed high blood pressure that's another thing um that happened so that was the first thing she told me I had high blood pressure and then after she went to all that and explained and all that then she got into the whole diabetes things and with the numbers and all that so, uh, for the blood pressure, yes, I do take high blood pressure pills now, which I'm hating. Um, I mean, they don't do anything. There's no side effects or nothing like that. But I just don't like to be uh, depend, I'm, like, dependent. Like, I have to take a pill every single day. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. But anyway, so any, I, I decided to go ahead and work on my weight. So, I went ahead and joined Planet Fitness. And um, I had been working out for a good two months and I was doing good I was almost down 15 pounds hey um almost 15 pounds and I you know I, I was I was going at it hard I was only taking one day off I was doing it I was going at it I was just 
trying to really get myself together. I mean, it was so hard in the beginning. I mean, like so freaking hard to try to not only want to uh, get up and go, um, but to get there and just, you know, walk on a treadmill, ride the bike, all that. It is so freaking boring doing cardio. Cardio is so boring. If I could strength um, train all day, that would be it. Weights and the machines, everything. <laughs> I could do that all day, but you know, you got to have cardio. So, but cardio is so boring. I, I struggled just to do 30 minutes. Not because it was difficult, because it was boring. I had my headphones in. I had all my music. Sometimes I would even watch a movie. Still boring as boring AF y'all. But you know, I had to do what I had to do. So anyway, um, I was down uh, 15 pounds and going and I just watched what I ate and, and just went to the gym every single day except Sunday. Um, and yeah, and then as I was doing that, you guys, mm, I started having these terrible, terrible, terrible chest pains. Like it was like bad um, on the left and the right side, you know, um, and it, it was just, it was bad. And so I stopped and then, um, I didn't do anything about it. I know my husband and my son, when I told them I was having, I, I didn't tell them till it was about probably two weeks in that I was having uh, chest pains. They were so upset because, you know, they were saying you could have been, you know, having a heart attack or symptom of the heart attack stroke or whatever. You should have went to the doctor. We should have called 911. They was just all in. They were so angry when I finally told them. And um, I had just made an appointment with the doctor. I didn't go to the ER or Med Express. Uh, because I felt like I didn't think it was bad enough because I was looking up on Google and it said if you were having, you know, arm pain and dizziness and not, it just had a lot of stuff. And I was like, I don't have none of that. I just have the chest pain. I don't have the stuff that made me feel like, oh my God, I got to You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel that. I felt like pain and discomfort. Um, and also like heartburn too. So I felt like I could just deal with the pain and that's what I did until I told them and I just, I just, I couldn't. And so, yeah, that's when I went. And then, so I went to the doctor. She set me up with a heart doctor. That's where, and then I went to the heart doctor, the specialist, the heart doctor. And, um, you know, he did a EKG. I did a stress test. Um, and this other test, which I can't think of right now. I had to sit in the machine. I cannot think of the name of that test right now, you guys. Because I keep saying I'm trying to make this video short. But it looks like it's going it's being long anyway. But anyway, I can't think of it right now. But I did all the heart tests and things like that. And then about a week later, he called me back in for the uh, for results. And everything came back normal. My heart was fine. It's beating um, normally. It's functioning properly. Enough oxygen is getting there. Everything is fine with my heart. Um, everything it all came up fine. So, went back to my primary doctor. And then she set me up with a, um, a GI doctor. And then I went to go see him. And um, you know, for GI, it's internal. They check your, you know, esophagus, uh, your stomach, intestines, your bowels. They check things like that. Um, so that's not what you do in the office like right then. So it was just basically a consultation. He was just telling me things and trying to tell me things to avoid um, until I get to the next appointment, which was a... Um, outpatient surgery where he had to insert a camera down my throat you know you, you're asleep for it and they stick a camera down your throat and he looks in there to tell you everything so um i did that about a month after that visit um and on that visit is where uh because we thought you know by then i would be figuring out what the chest pain because during all this time and me taking tests in between tests and taking more tests because yeah in between all this i was still taking other tests because my chest was just hurting y'all it was hurting um but i could still deal with it because you know i'm a trooper and i can deal with that stuff and i wasn't taking any medication i was just you know so um yeah and then i had that test and then that's when they found out or he found out that i had uh, a hernia on my esophagus um which in turn caused acid reflux so um Basically, the, the hernia on the esophagus is, is where the chest pain is coming uh, from. So, and so, yeah. So, I have to take this medicine every day. Another pill. So, I have to take my high blood pressure medicine plus um, uh, 
the hernia or, or the the medicine for the hernia on the esophagus. Um, so I take those two pills every day. And now also he said the same thing that I have definitely have to lose the weight because that's, you know, that, that helps also because of the fact that I have this. Now this hernia though, it should go away in about two to three months, hopefully. Um, now that I'm taking the medicine, he's he prescribed me the medicine for three months. So, um, after that, we'll go back and see. And I've actually only been on the medicine for two two weeks now. So, you know, it hasn't even been a month yet. So I got a while to go. But in the meantime, while I'm doing that, actually, I'm um, uh, losing weight as well. I went back to the gym. Cause, oh, I forgot to say that after I found, you know, the chest pains when I was going to the gym and working out really hard and doing all that stuff and the chest pain started, I stopped because I couldn't. It, it, I couldn't go again. And then... Um, I was doing fine. I was still eating good, even though I wasn't going to the gym. But then the chest pain just kept coming and coming. And, and, and I just, I was getting depressed on that. Like, oh my God. I, and this was before I had the test. So I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be like, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here to see my sons grow up. Well, uh, and I'm not going to be here. My family needs me. I'm the only woman. They can't do anything without me. I kept saying all types of stuff like that. I was like, I need <sighs> to get this fixed. I don't know. And so then I started getting depressed. And then I started eating again. Um, just junk for no reason. Just junk. Just not doing nothing. And all day I would be just sitting there like, <sighs> you know thinking about it. I couldn't do anything but think about it. My mind was always on the chest pain. Always. Um, even though, you know, like I said, I was handling it, but I was still just always thinking about it. And I started eating again and gained weight again and gained it all back and then some. And uh, um, so, yeah. And so it's been about two weeks that I've also been back to the gym. And um, yeah, I'm doing good again. I'm feeling good, feeling like me again. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy to be starting it over again. But anyway, yeah, I, I enjoy going. I like working out, like I said, because you do feel good. And I feel good working out. And then I come home and eat healthy. That just feels so good on your body, on your soul. I never knew that, you know, taking care of you would feel so good honestly okay. so now that we got that out the way uh 24 minutes down the road you all can skip through this it doesn't bother me i'm gonna record it as long as it has to be i'm sorry about it but you know <sighs> it's my first time back and i miss talking to you guys and while i'm on this little thing let me just tell y'all um for my eyes today i just used the number three snap um, from Fenty right here. This is um, yeah, the number three. These are the colors right here Sorry So basic I just used this one and this one just the two browns a real basic look right here today Like I said, I'm getting ready to go out on a little date night and then on top of that. I just use this elf um, uh, Glitter shadow this is called flirty It's so small flirty birdie the you know one new little elf um the elf glitter shadow and i put that on the top right there and um i have on my little lashy box lashes in lucky can you see that yeah but that's what they look like and i got on my glam light lip gloss or lips liquid lipstick and this is in the color bon appetit so yeah just wanted to give you those little deets all right, guys, now let's just get into this really, really quick unboxing. It is super quick. That's why I wanted to just add it to this video because I knew that if I did it separate, it would probably be a five minute video because it's going to be super quick. And basically what it is, is it's the, um, can you see this box? It's the um, Jeffree Star mystery, the Valentine mystery um, box. Uh, unboxing. I never had a Jeffree Star mystery box before. Now, I did not even know he had them because, you know, you guys, when I was out, I did not check uh, for makeup or anything because I knew I would want it. I had stopped all my subscription boxes. Like I told you, I was going through it when I was having the chest pains. I didn't want to see makeup. I didn't want to have nothing. I have not worn makeup since 
I stopped doing YouTube. I, I have not worn, except for when I had to go out of town to North Carolina um, a couple weeks ago. That was it. I, I have not been wearing makeup at all. I don't know what's out there, what what came out, what didn't come out. Um, I didn't know about like a, um, a glam light cake palette because I was going through Instagram and I did see that. So I did get that. But that is the only thing that I bought this whole time. And I, like I said, I did not even know that... Um, Oh, and I bought some e.l.f. stuff um, cause that I just saw like two weeks ago. But that's already after I've already been diagnosed and everything. So, But during the time, I, I wasn't buying anything. But anyway, and I didn't even know Jeffree Star had these boxes because I have not <laughs> been on YouTube. Or, I mean, I, get on, I was getting on Instagram like maybe once a week. I wasn't even active like that either. Like, I just wasn't. So, um, I had saw a subscriber say that she had just ordered all three of Jeffree Star's boxes. And I said, oh, he got mystery boxes? And I said, well, let me just see, just by chance, uh, because it was Valentine's Day. I never got none of his other ones or whatever, but because it was Valentine's Day, I said, let me go check. So, when I went on there, it was already sold out, all of them, except for the premium box, which I think is the smallest one. So, they did have it for $60. So, I said, okay, let me go ahead and and try one and so I just got that one because that's all they had and then he also had a mirror that I liked on there in his Valentine collection so I had ordered that but anyway yeah so let me just um uh all right take the paper out because I had opened the box this is well, I'll show you that in a minute okay so All right, so this is the premium mystery box. This is what it looks like. Cute Valentine-ish. And this is just the Jeffree Star approved mirror that I bought. I don't know, I've been into mirrors lately. Why, I don't know. I just got this, the, the Fenty one. Um, and you know, it's really cute. I like it, I look cute in this mirror. Nice, I don't know, I like the mirror. And I like to use it when I'm doing my um, I like to use a mirror when I'm doing my um, lashes and my eyebrows. So, other than that, I use my vanity, but, you know. So, anyway, um, yeah, this Fenty one I got when I got a Fenty order about last month. Didn't I? Was it last month? Oh, yeah, I forgot I did buy Fenty during the time that um, I wasn't on YouTube, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, I bought that. Um, I bought quite a bit of stuff from Fenty. And now I see that they have a... Um, on the premium of boxy charm which i don't have premium i mean i didn't want it because i'm already ha i already have too much stuff from these boxes that i still haven't used yet so you know anyway guys if this actually does turn out uh to be too long i may just go ahead and make this a part two call the video part one and part two um because it may be too long so we'll see but i'm gonna go ahead and open this right now and see what we have in the mystery like I told y'all guys feel free to skip through that doesn't bother me no you know I know people have things to do anyway I'm just so excited to be back. I don't know. I think I'm talking too much and doing too much. Oh, shoot. I don't want to break my nail trying to get into this box. Wait a minute. Okay. So, very cutely packaged. Packaged. All right, and let's see. Okay, this is just paper, and oh, it was it fell out. Okay, so we have a liquid lip color. Um, let's see, the gloss, two finishes, glitter fantasy and extreme shine, juicy, delicious, iconic on its own or over any lipstick. All right, this looks like it's the color succulent. Succulent. I 
I don't have any Jeffree Star palettes um, except for the collabs he did with uh, uh, Morphe. Like, I, I don't have anything that I've actually ordered from Jeffree. I mean, I have his concealer and his powder, which are my favorite. Dang, I can't even open the box. I gotta tear the box. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. It's like a pink uh, glitter type. Oh, that's good. And the packaging is really cute. That's really, really cute. Oh, man. Look at that. That's really cute. Look at that. It's like a nice gloss that'll go over anything, like he said. Probably be pretty, you know, by itself. To, well, um, over lipstick is what I mean. I know it's going to be pretty by itself. That's pretty. I like that. Very pretty. I done tore the box all up because I couldn't get it out. Okay. Uh, next is this. Whatever this is. But there's that alien packaging is really cute. Oh, it's his alien palette. I think this is okay. All right, it's the alien palette. Yeah, like I said, I don't have any of his palettes, I'm only the stuff he did with Morphe. It's not because I never wanted to, it's just I don't know. I haven't really found any that sticks out like <laughs> like that. Um, you know, I did like the blue blood, but I have so many blue palettes. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I like those color. Oh, I'm too far up. Sorry. So he told y'all, I forgot what I was doing. I ain't been here for a while. Cute colors. Cute colors. It's nice that you got a palette and a lipstick. Yes. Yes. And I think that he said the um the lipsticks and lip glosses that are in these mysteries are not going to be um available like they were made exclusively for the um uh mystery boxes let's see looks like there's one more thing oh a hat oh that's cute i love hats i wear hats all winter long oh that's cute can y'all see let me take it out it's a red hat i love hats especially when i have my braids on they look cute with uh this is cute it's a red hat and it says Jeffree Star, like what looks like little Valentine candies. Can you see that? That's really cute. I don't want to put it on because I don't want to get makeup on it right now. But that's cute. And then also, it comes with a pop socket. Jeffree Star pop socket. So, yeah. I told y'all I was going to be super quick. I know I talk too much. But, yeah. So, you got, I got four products. It was $60. Oh, let me show y'all the mirror. The mirror I bought on my own. Um, I just uh, wanted it because I'm like... I just like the color of it, uh, the pink, and I just thought it was cute, um, so I decided to get it. Um, I think I paid, what, this was, um, what was this mirror, 25 I think? Because the Rihanna one, I mean the Fenty one I just got was 22 I think this one is a 25 I believe. Oh, that's so cute! I love it. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Star approved. That is really cute. Like this little pink chrome type thing. This is so cute. I love it. Oh, yes. Hey. Mm. Hey, girl. Hey. It's like I'm crazy. Okay. So, thank you guys for tuning in today and I know this video was hella long I am so sorry feel free to skip through or do whatever you want but I had to get it out I was going to get it out I didn't want to do the Jeffree Star by itself because I felt like it was going to be too short so you know um sorry about the long windedness but anyway thanks so much for watching if you have not done so already please subscribe like and comment and i will see you in the next video